Joining me on the line to discuss the release of German inflation data and ZEW data is Edgar Walk, Chief Economist at Metzled in Frankfurt, Germany. Now, Edgar, German inflation rose by 0.7% year-on-year in May. What factors were behind the increase in inflation? I think um, it, uh, we have seen some upward movement in the oil price, which clearly has uh, helped uh, inflation to increase today. And we are seeing that uh, slowly... Uh, service prices are starting to increase in Germany, driven by higher wages. German inflation is still much below the ECB's 2% annual inflation target. In your opinion, where will inflation stand at the end of the year? I think uh, we should see a quite, depending on the oil price, but a relatively rapid increase in inflation. I would expect it to see it above 1%, maybe even 1.5%. And the main reason is that uh, the domestic labor market is tightening, that wages are increasing, and we should see uh, higher service inflation, even higher service inflation going forward, which will sooner or later translate into higher in, um, inflation. Now, Germany's ZEW data came in significantly lower this month at 31.5 compared to May's reading of 41.9. So what is the main reason for the drop, seeing as consumer confidence remains positive? I think um, no, um, that uh, the uncertainty regarding uh, Greece has had probably a very big impact uh, today. And that's why, uh, so, uh, depending on the situation in Greece, but uh, if uh, there's a solution to the Greek problem, then we probably will see that the ZEW will increase next month again, because basically uh, the outlook for the German economy is still very uh, positive. Why? Because of low interest rates, because of the weak EU exchange rate, and we should even uh, expect some pass through of still some pass through of lower energy prices. So the overall, overall environment, fundamental environment, is still very very positive uh, for Germany. And finally, what is your outlook for the German economy going forward? Yeah, I think uh, a colleague of mine explained it very nicely. Maybe Germany is uh, where Spain was 15 years ago. So we have uh, much too low interest rates. We have a recovery of the housing market. We have a very strong labor market. So all in all, I think um, over the next five years, the German economy will continue to grow very strongly between 1.5 and 2%, driven by consumer spending, by the housing market, and uh, by high wage growth, which means that competitiveness of the German economy will slowly deteriorate, and we will also see a decline of the current account surplus over the next few years. Edgar, thank you very much for your comments. Well, that is all from me for today. Until next time, goodbye.